Hello, how are you folks doing today? What I'd like to do is just a little uh, review of some equipment that I use at Off the Beaten Path Maps. We sell this product along with, I use it and have tested it out here in southeastern Utah. This is the SPOT, the uh, satellite personal tracker or locator device. It works off the satellite phone system. What it does is it sends a message to people that you have in your account, letting them know you're okay or you need help, or it actually can activate 911 service. Unlike a GPS, now GPS, uh, the way it functions is it works off satellites as well, but it's giving you a location of where you're at, giving you your UTM, your Latin long. What the spot does is it sends that information to the people on your list. When you sign up or you purchase a spot, then you have to buy, you have to sign up on an account. Now a spot will cost you right now about $149.95. Uh, there's a lot of places selling them for that amount. Um, once you buy the unit, you'll get it. You'll have some information in the box and a way to set up an account. You'll log into the website for Spot, set up your account, and decide what package you want. Now, there's two packages. You can get a package that's just $99 a year, which gives you the OK feature, the help feature, and the 911 feature. For another $49 a year, you can also have a constant tracking feature along with those other three. They also have a search and rec rescue package uh, insurance. Uh, I think it starts out the initial uh, year is like uh, $7 or something like that. It's about $100,000 worth of insurance. Now the spot, it uh, weighs about 7.3 ounces. You use two lithium batteries. Uh, one year, the batteries will last one year powered on. It'll last up to 14 days in continuous tracking mode, up to 7 days in a 911 mode, and up to 1,200 test messages sent before the batteries die. I've had the same set of batteries in this now for about 4 months, testing it out down here. And so far, it's, it's uh, worked fine and the batteries are still pretty strong. Now the way this works, uh, on your account, you, uh, when you set that up, you log in. You'll have several sections there that you do a pre-typed message, uh, pre-typed OK, help, and 911. What I have done on mine is like OK, I've put in there, I'm OK, I'll get in contact with you later. It also sends my longitude and latitude to the people on my list. My help message says uh, something like, uh, I broke down, I'm out of gas, uh, something to that effect, but it's non-life-threatening. And then 911 uh, says that if you've gotten this message, I need help immediately. Now, the, in your account, you can list up to five people per function. So you can list their cell phone and their email address because what this will do, when you activate this, it will send them a text message, the one that you've typed. And you can change that message according to what you're going to go be doing. So that's how this works as far as how the mess, how, who gets the messages and what the messages are. You pre-type them. The way this works, you turn it on. You wait a couple of seconds is what I've found. Then if you want to send an OK message, you hold down the OK button for about two seconds. Let up. Now the most important thing is that you need to be out where you have a view of the sky. And you need, once you've activated this, I like to hold it for about five to ten minutes out in the view of the sky so it'll send the message. I've found that sometimes it'll do it quicker sometimes it, I haven't had to go beyond the 10 minutes but one thing you can't do is have it inside your car um, have it inside anything uh, it just isn't dependable enough to send the message sometimes it will sometimes it won't so I have found the best way to do it is make sure you're out in clear view of the sky so you sit there for 5-10 minutes let it send its message what will happen is these lights will go solid indicating that the message has been sent. Once that's been done, then you can go about your business, do what you need to do. Uh, if you miss that, like I said, just wait 5-10 minutes. If I want to send a help message, I can do that as well. What I'm doing here is shutting it off, and the way you do that is you push down on the on button for about 5 seconds, and it'll shut off the whole unit. Now, just send a help message again. You turn it on, wait a couple seconds, and then you push down the help message, help button. And when the light blinks, that means it's activated. Again, wait 5 to 10 minutes, make sure the message gets out. It sends that text message to cell phone and emails. 
If you want to send the 911 message, you do the same thing. You turn it on, you activate 911. The difference is, is 911 will also send the messages to all those five people. It will also send it to the International 911 Center. Who will then take that information, your longitude and latitude, lo and notify local authorities that there's someone at this location that needs search and rescue and needs help. And they'll activate that for you. Now the other feature is the constant tracking feature. Once you have the unit turned on, you push down the OK button and you hold it down until the light goes off. Once the light goes off, the constant tracking feature is activated. You hook it on your thing and you go. It'll take a reading about every 10 minutes. What I've found is it varies anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes, depending on the terrain you're in, depending if it has clear view of the sky. But once it takes that reading, it'll log it into your account. Then when you get home, or if there's someone at home that is uh, watching your trip, they can log into your account. Spot is hooked up with Google Earth. So you can go in there and they can view your locations on your map in your account in real time, basically. Uh, either use a regular topo map or they have aerial photos, that kind of thing. So you can see everything that you did that day or the people at home can watch and see what you're doing. So that's basically the spot. Uh, that's how it functions. Those are the things that uh, I have found works with it. Like I said, again, just to recap, make sure that if you use it, you're out in the open sky for five to ten minutes when you're trying to activate. Make sure that message gets out. Other than that, I think it's a great unit. I think uh, it's very worth the money. It's 150 bucks that you're putting in, you're spending initially uh, to buy the unit, and then your activation fee for 99 if you do just the basic package. So for a couple hundred bucks, you can have this in your pack, in your car, with you all the time. And no matter where you're at, if you don't have cell phone coverage, whatever, you got a way to contact people and let them know that you're okay or you need help. And it sure beats, you know, having to uh, crawl back to town if you get hurt or getting broke, get broke down somewhere and having to walk back. So I think it's well worth the money, and I'd recommend it to anybody. And I'd just recommend that you go out and you test it once you buy it get familiar with how it works, get familiar with you know uh, what you need to do to make sure that message gets out. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it was informative and again uh, if you have any questions about it feel free to go onto our website again it's otbpmaps.com stands for Off the Beaten Path Maps be glad to answer any of your questions and we hope you have a fun time and stay safe out there.